Welcome to the stream. My name's Joe. I'm Emily. And today we're going to be playing WWE Legends Royal Rumble card game. Woo! Woo! <laughs> this game was designed by Steve Warner and published by Ravensburger. Um, if you're here from Gen Con, we're going to do a real quick reminder that um, please remember to give your ticket for this event through the event details page. Um, there are instructions on the event dashboard, and you should have also received instructions in the emails from Gen Con. Doing that really helps Gen Con know that you like these Ravensburger events, you like seeing the new games and stuff like that, and they'll let us do it again in the future, so fingers crossed. <laughs> um, so, WWE Legends Royal Rumble card game, yes. how do you play? How? Or how do you win? Let's Ooh, go over that first. More important. Well, like a Royal Rumble, you want to be the last legend in the ring. So, um, to set up the game, you're going to take three legends per player and then shuffle them up and um, put them into a pile. So, as you can see, we have our six legends that are going to be in this match. We don't know when they're going to come out, though, because they're right. randomly assorted. Um, and then each player is going to get six cards, the action cards, and then they're going to draw a legend to start the game. So we're each going to start with one legend, we're each going to start with six action cards, and um, we'll go over what all this stuff means in just a minute. The last thing you need to do is assign this title holder placard to one of the players. Uh, it's, it's supposed to go to the last person to watch a WWE match, which was me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'll put that in front of me there. It was there. in the 90s, but... Right. <laughs> and I watched some just a little while ago. I, to, 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 to remember all this stuff, I watched a few Royal Rumbles to get ready, oh, so gosh. I'm ready. Okay. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is just reveal our legends. So I got Jake the Snake Roberts. I'm Andre the Giant, and oh. it's not my fault being the biggest and the baddest. Oh, well, trust me. Oh. <laughs> That's just, it. I think the key, like, don't trust me. I know, yeah, when someone says that, don't trust <laughs> all right, them, right? All right. So along with your legend, these are actually your signature move cards. So we're each going to get to take our signature move, and that's going to go on the left-hand side of our legend card there. Um, and I'll just go over the legend cards and what they kind of all have on them real quick. So this is the one for Jake the Snake. Should we pick one that's not Jake the Maybe, Snake just in case people have like a case. phobia? Let's go with Andre the Giant. He's a classic. Everyone loves Andre. Everyone loves him. So you have the picture of the legend, a bunch of information about them, their height, their weight, their name. You got their, their saying down there at the bottom. The right is um, the most important. Their signature, yep, their signature move right there. Andre's is the bear hug. And the right here, you have their health. So that is important because if you ever have damage um, equal to your health, you're going to be thrown over the top. And when I mention signature moves, this is their signature move. This is Andre the Giants. Again, it's yellow, so it's a little hard to see on a green screen. I'll try and move it somewhere where there's nothing behind it. So this will do, like, this card is how much damage it does up here, and then the name of it, and if it's got a special ability at the bottom. But we'll get into that when we start using them a little bit more. So um, the game is played in four phases. Each, um, each phase, everyone does at the same time. So the first phase is the planning phase. So you're going to uh, pick cards from your hand, um, an attack card that you want to play against someone else. Um, then you're going to put it face down, pointing at their legend. So this game um, does go up to way more players than two. So if you're doing more players, you actually like point it. Since it's just me and Emily, we're going to be pointing them back and forth at each other. But just know in a... In a higher player count game you're going to be pointing them all over the table at the different legends so i want to point that over there at andre and i'm also going to play so you can only play one act or one attack card per per turn in your planning phase but there's also boost cards in the game so i'm actually going to sneak one of those in there too Ooh, well, and you can too. use one boost card per attack as well we also point out that with there's more players you can choose who you attack yep, i just said that oh, yep hey. <laughs> you I were preparing so for the attack i was yep now about it. So I'm not going to point it at you just because... Yeah, there's I, only two of us, I, yeah, right. I like it like that. So but. the second phase is to reveal. So we're just going to flip over our cards at the same time, and then we're going to go over now how attacking works, because phase three is the attack phase. So after everyone's revealed their cards, you're going to look at um, everyone's attacks. The most important thing on the attacks is going to be the speed, because that's going to decide who actually gets to attack first. And if there's ever a tie, the person with the... Um, Title. title holder token will actually be like the person closest to the title holder gets to go first so if if me and emily tied and i have the, the title holder token still i would go first in a like a four player game if emily and the third player tied emily would get to go first because she's closer to the title holder hey. so in turn order so um here's an attack card and let's go over the anatomy of it real quick up top is the amount of damage it's going to deal if it hits um then in the middle you can see it says this is an attack card so everyone will know this is the type of attack. So there's three different types of attack. Um, this one is a strike. There's also moves and kicks. kicks. Yep. 
and then this is the speed and then the name of it and then if it has a special ability it'll be down here at the bottom mine is just a normal uh, double axe handle and I also played with it a boost card so boost cards are all purple um, they all say boost right there in the middle normally what they do is they add um, damage to the attack and then sometimes they add a special ability as well like this means when I play this on a ladder boost my attack cannot be blocked now by Emily um, but it also has this little symbol right here and that is a cheap trick and when you play a cheap trick um, it turns the entire attack into a cheap, cheap trick so not just this card but the whole attack now is the cheap trick because I'm using a ladder to attack Emily um, Emily has played a boost card and a, so she's got a corkscrew suplex over here is the move she's doing so the suplex has a base speed of four so technically we're tied right now because we both have a speed four attack but the corkscrew adds one damage and it adds one speed to her attack so she's actually at a five speed attack so she's going to get to go first and try to hit me so after someone is attacked you can you have a chance to defend so you are attacking i cannot block a move attack so i cannot defend against it i guess so okay. that's going to hit so if you get hit um any special abilities that say if this hits would trigger um, and otherwise you're just going to take the damage and you're going to line it up with your health track on the right side of your legend. Um, so now I'm going to try and attack Emily because I have the next highest speed. Do you have... I can't block it. You can't block I my can't double block X hand. That's right, it can't be oh, blocked. I, I, and I don't have a ref card, which could stop your cheap right. trick. Right, there are ref cards in the game as well, and they will essentially let you cancel a cheap trick attack. Okay. Um, but Emily doesn't have one of those right now, so no. she's going to get a big old double axe handle is, from a ladder there. That is a lot of damage, six damage. That's... Andre's not feeling great. No. Um, after the attack phase is over, everyone's played their attacks, you go to the redraw phase where you draw back up to six cards in your hand. And that's that's the whole game. So you're going to yep. be going back and forth, attack or planning, revealing, attacking, draw back yep. up until all your legends, you're the last legend standing in the ring. Oh, let's see here. Oh boy. Um, the other thing you can do on your planning phase, if you don't have any attack cards or you're just not liking your hand, is you could take a rest. Um, I don't want to do that yet because I, I feel like Andre the Giant would... Because you, you can still get attacked while you're taking a rest. Right. But essentially what you do is you don't play an attack card and instead you can discard as many cards as you want and draw back up. Um, okay, so we both planned our attack. We're going to reveal. I got a, a Moonsault from the top rope and Emily's got a Chop with a boost uh, setup boost. So um, let's see here. So Emily's got a Speed 5. Mine's only a Speed 2. The moonsault a slow attack. So she actually gets to attack first. And, but, 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 but what's what? this, is this, can it be blocked? It can be blocked. Can be so blocked. I have a block here. Uh -huh. So this is the defense card. So when you're attacked, if you have a defense card, you can play it as long as it can block the attack that your, um, your opponent's throwing at you. So this says cancel one strike or kick. So Emily's trying to hit me with a strike. So I'm going to go ahead and block yep. that. And that just gets discarded. Whoops. Sorry. I didn't mean to move that around. So that whole attack and my defense card will get discarded. Now, um, Emily has a chance to defend against my Moonsault from the top rope. No can do. No can I'm do. I'm taking it. All right. And then the Moonsault here is a, it actually takes me an away. attack move. And it says, if this hits, see, this has a special ability. So if this hits, you may discard uh, any number of cards from your hand um, and draw that many cards. Okay, yeah. So since this did hit, I can actually trigger that right now. Do I want to discard any cards from my hand? Um, yeah, I'm going to discard one and then draw back up one. And then you won't draw back up to six until the end of the turn, but if that's in the middle, again, with more players, that might give me a defense card to defend against someone else right. if I didn't have one in my hand already. Um, so is Andre the Giant at full health, or at maximum damage? Yep. All right, so him. Andre the Giant has taken the amount of damage equal to his health, so that means he's going to be thrown over the top. I would like to see that happen in real life. You should go back and watch some of the old Royal Rumbles. Good. It happens, yeah. 7'4", 520 pounds. That's what I like. It's facts. I can visualize Yeah, that. he's a big dude. So when um, when a legend is thrown over the top, you're going to discard all the damage cards attached to them. If they still have their um, signature move, that gets removed from the game. And the person who threw them over the top is going to get to take their card, their placard, and put that in front of them. You know, for bragging rights. Mm -hmm. I mean, Jake the Snake just threw Andre the Giant out of the ring. <laughs> and then if you don't have the title holder token, you actually get to take that as well. Right. Um, you're not out of the game, though. If you did have your legend thrown over, you actually get to 
I get an O one. So Booker T is entering D. the rumble now. Can you dig that sucker? <laughs> is that uh, what he sounded like? Uh, no, uh, a little bit, I okay. guess. That was close, yeah. <laughs> uh, so that's going to end the round, though, now that we're through the attack phase, and we're all going to draw back up. Um, if Emily, if Andre the Giant hadn't gotten his attack off yet, that attack would be canceled as well because um, he got it. He got thrown over the top before he actually got to make his attack. So. Let's go on to the next one, though. All right. I know what I'm doing here. Let's go. All right. So let's go ahead and reveal. Um, so this is the last time of a, a type of attack that we have not seen yet. This is a kick attack, um, and this is a speed four, and it has a special ability that if this hits, I may play my signature move. So I'm really hoping to hit Emily with the DDT here. So I did play boost it with a chair, so it cannot be blocked, but it does make it a cheap trick. I have a higher speed, though. You do, yes. So Emily has a speed five, okay. so she will actually get to hit first. So Which would might, would that X out yours, should it hit? No, because it's not in my hand. Ah, yeah. So uh -huh. um, I cannot block Emily's move attack, and it does say if this hits, your opponent must reveal their hand and discard all kicks. So I'm going to put that there because it hits, and then I will reveal my hand. And um, I do not have any kicks. I have a strike and a couple of a, a defense and a special there. So, okay. All right. So now it's Emily's chance to block, or she cannot block this. But if yeah. she has a ref, I have a ref card. Oh no! So here's the defense card that is called the ref card, and it just says play when your opponent has played a cheap trick, and it cancels the card. So that cool. would cancel my entire attack. Bad news for Emily. Oh, no. I have a guy on the outside distracting the oh. ref. So when a player plays a ref card, cancel the ref card. So That's why you need someone on the outside. That is why you need someone on the outside. Okay. So nice try, Booker T. Uh, you, you're trying to get the ref involved in a Royal Rumble. Get out of here. So Booker T is going to take that four damage, and it's going to allow me to play my signature move. So I'm going to hit Emily or Booker T with the DDT. No, sir. I cannot block that. All right. And this says, if this hits, all other ledges must discard. All other ledges must discard their attack for this round. Wow. wow. I already played my attack. They're just stunned. Stuff. Everyone else in the ring is stunned by the DDT. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's going to be the end of that attack phase. So we're going to draw back up. Oh, boy. All right. And now my signature move has been used. You can only use that once per game with that legend. So I do not have the DDT anymore to use throughout the rest of the game. All right, let's do a... Uh, oh, where's Booker T at? Yeah. It's just hanging out over here. There we go. All right. Go ahead and reveal. All right, Emily's got a four-speed attack. I have a five-speed heavy punch attack, though. So can that's mine's gonna get to go first, and it is boosted by being pumped up. See, so you got the ultimate warrior here, pumping up, oh, shaking the ropes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and this game does go up to ten players, um, so you could actually have thirty legends coming into the Royal Rumble oh, and trying to be the last geez. one standing. Oh yeah, don't forget to Jeez reveal your uh, your scissor kick there for Booker T. All right, so can you block my heavy punch? Yes. You can. I can. Oh, no. What With, do you got? Oh, it's Andre. Uh, take control. Cancel any attack against you. Play an attack or your signature against the opponent who attacked you, and they cannot block or dodge your attack. Oh, my you gosh. Sit there and take it. Oh, there's the take control card. Yep. Looks like Andre the Giant, Giant's crushing that dude's head. So that is going to cancel my entire attack. And I get to play an attack. You get or your signature, and I cannot... I'm going to um, play block it. an attack. Okay. Because. Yep. Okay. Because it's the clothesline. And if this hits, which it almost guarantees to hit. Yep. The opponent and the opponent has five or more damage. Throw them over the top rope. All right. Well, that is going to hit. And I will have five or more damage. So Jake the Snake is out of here. He's thrown over the top. Uh, so that's going to discard all these action cards, all the uh, cards there that were attached to him for damage. Um, Emily's attack now cannot hit Jake the Snake, though. I so that. I wish I 
wish I could take it back, though. It's a good one. It was a good one, y'all. Yeah. The, the elbow chin knee is good. So oh, well. when Emily takes uh, that as well, she will get the first player token. So now no, she's going to be winning first, the tie. Not the or not the first player. player token, the title holder. I'm the title holder. Uh -oh. Don't minimize my title. Uh-oh. But here comes, here comes mankind. Oh. It's time to have a nice day. <laughs> So let's get back up here and go into the next planning phase. Okay. I'm liking this. Are you? The yep. fact that you said that makes me not like it. All right. Make sure I played the right one. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's reveal. Oh, here comes a flying chop from mankind. I got a five speed. All right, so I will get to attack first because you have a four speed and I have a five. Can you block my chop? I cannot block it. All right, so that flying chop's going to hit, and I was going to follow up. This says if this hits, you may immediately play another strike, but that puts Booker T over his health. So Well, 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 Booker T is holding on. What? Play when any legend would be thrown over the top. Oh, by, that's not by an effect, is it? No, nope, that's oh! not by an effect. That's by his health. Close no! call. Close no! call. No! Uh, he's still holding on, but he that can't That would block like it, yes. the uh, clothesline you use. So he's trying to hold on, but he's not. He's out of here. He couldn't do it. He's so done. So all these are going to get Booker. discarded. The legend token will, yep. or card will get um, removed. The signature pack. Um, because Booker T was thrown over before he attacked, his attack gets discarded as well. I claim his placard. His signature move is out of here. Yeah. And I'm the title holder again. Yeah, of course, yeah, Mankind's yeah. the title holder. But who will Emily get? Batista? He is, he is having a nice day. Or Macho Man Randy Savage? Macho Man! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> so there's your flying elbow drop. And we're going to go ahead and draw back up. Alrighty. Let's see here. Yeah. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's good. Oh! I'm all out of boost cards. I shouldn't tell you that, but I am. Darn it. Okay. Okay, let's reveal. So I got the close fist punch. It is a cheap trick, though. It's just a normal attack, but it is a cheap trick. No, nope, it's cheap trick's gonna land. All right, so I have a speed five. Emily has a speed four, so I do get to yeah. attack first. Um, it says, if this hits, you may immediately play your signature. So there's two damage to Macho Man. And here comes the Mandible Claw. Oh, gosh. Uh, if this hits, your opponent must discard two strikes from their hand or be thrown over the top rope. Do you have two strikes from your hand? Okay, I don't, but now. No. Now I can use that hold on. Yep, so holding and, on. Wait, it does also does something else, doesn't it? Yes, it does, okay. yep. So yeah, holding on is a special card there. Um, it says if you would be thrown over due to an effect, like the Mandible Claws effect, yeah. um, you can cancel being thrown over, and then you actually get to choose one damage card on your le legend and remove it. So, yeah, And it doesn't have to be one of the ones that just landed, but I'm yeah. i get rid of the Mandible Claw just out of spite. Uh, I know, yeah, you blocked my Mandible Claw, Macho Man. Um, so that is going to be it for my attack. Um, back to you. All right, you got the leap and clothes line. Can you oh, defend? I can defend. Get that out of here. I'm going to block that with a, a normal, that normal strike. Ooh. Get that out of here. <laughs> you can't hit mankind. All right, we're going to draw back up. Challenge accepted. All right, let's do this. All right. Oh, I see someone found some boost cards. I did, yeah. I got a pumped up body slam coming for you, speed three. I've got a very slow speed one power bomb coming for you. Oh, boy. It does four damage, yeah. though, if it hits. That is powerful. All right, so you can you defend against my body slam? It is a move I, attack. I've got no defense. <laughs> All right. So body slam is going to hit, and it has a special effect. Do you want to go ahead and read that for everyone? If this hits and your opponent has four more damage, throw them over the top rope. You have another one of those I'm holding no on cards? I'm no holding on. Get out of here, macho man. Wow. This is mankind's ring. All right. And uh, that does mean the power bomb is going to go away as well. Dang. Macho man is not going to be able to pull that off. Dang. There's your another legend. That's right. Three legends I've claimed right. so far. Come on, Batista. Batista, the last man to enter the Royal Rumble. All right, let's let's do this. All right, um, everyone needs to draw back. Doesn't matter how many legends you've got, Batista's gonna take this. I know, I know. 
I can still brag though. I've thrown over half the people out of the ring. <laughs> okay. Okie dokie. Let me see here what we can do. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Well, alright, it's as good as any, so let's get this out there. No, no, I'm nervous. Uh oh. Alright, go ahead and reveal. So I got the power leg drop, which is only a speed two, and you have a speed three. Okay, so you will get to attack first with your splash. Can you block it? Um. N no. Okay. I cannot. If this hit. Oh, sorry, oh, go ahead. Are you going to show it? You can read no, it. No, go ahead. <laughs> if this hits, you and your opponent each discard two cards. Yep, so, so. Emily hit me with the splash there. There's an attack move, and it's going to make us both discard two cards from our hand. Um, let me see here. Let's get rid of that one. That might actually help me. Thank you. I'll get rid of that one. That's, yeah. I, I could use a cleanup, too. Alrighty. Um, so now I'm going to hit you with the power leg drop. It is a cheap trick, though. It says, if this hits, your opponent must discard their attack for this round. But, I mean, it was a slower attack, so right. um, it, didn't, it didn't land in time. Um, so, yeah, let's go and draw back up. One, two, three... Ooh, I gotta be careful because Batista still got his signature move over there. Alrighty, let's go into this one here. Maybe I should rest. Yes, you we should definitely rest. No, I'm good. Alright, let's reveal. I got the, the Leaping Clothesline, which is a speed four. I've got the Heavy Punch, <coughs> speed oh. five. So the Heavy Punch is pretty cool. So it says, if this hits, you may immediately play another strike attack. If this is your third strike, you may play an attack or your signature next. So it's pretty good to have, because there's um, like chops. You can you can back to back. You can keep playing those just like you're in the match, you know. like. Um, but that's going to hit. I cannot block that attack. So you can play uh, another strike. Boom. Clothesline. Clothesline. If this hits and your opponent has five or more damage, throw them over the top rope. Oh. Oh, I'm only at four. So close. Woo. That was my only other strike, though, so. Okay, that One was hits close. Than nothing. That was close. Okay, so I'm going to hit you with the leaping clothesline unless you can defend. No defense here. No defense? All right. It. That is going to hit Batista. Is he at five damage? No. Oh. He's at five damage. All right, I'm going to play a special card here. Finish them off. No. You may please play this immediately after legend is hit if they have taken five or more damage throw them over the top rope can mankind finish off batista or do you have something to block my special you need to finish him oh look that doesn't go there he is over the top rope dang that means that mankind has won the royal rumble have a nice day <laughs> <laughs> um and that's how you play the game the last person in the ring if oh if you were playing with more players, um, you would uh, you would discard all your cards or not all your cards. You wouldn't have a legend in front of you, but you would actually still get to actually you would actually still get to attack each round. But all your attacks become cheap tricks, so they can be blocked by refs because it's like a legend came back into the ring after they were thrown out, and we're just trying to fight and throw people over still. So you're not out of the game. It's not player elimination, um, but you can still attack everyone else that is in the ring and um, try to take them out. Um, that, that is the game, though, so let's go over yeah. to some Q&A and see what uh, people, if anyone has any questions, or if they want to see the other legends, too, we can pull them out. they feel bad for me for getting destroyed. All right, let's see here. I've had a lot of fun with it. Got to go, all right. It's for design. It looks like great fun. Andre is an excellent choice. Yes, he is. <laughs> new legends. Let's do another game. Another game with new legends? All right. Ugh. We have enough. We have a little bit of time here. We should be able to get some more. Well, I mean, I mean, Stone Cold Steve Austin's on top. Let's go. Ric Flair, Hulk Hogan, Undertaker. Let's see who else we can get here. These are like, these are like my guys here. This is one. Exclude Hulk. Oh, exclude Hulk Hogan? Yep. Okay. Let's leave him off. Okay. Let's see who else we can get. He's too popular. He let's is find, too popular. Let's, let's find someone else. Brett the Hitman Hart. All oh, right. yeah. Oh, I actually met Hacksaw Jim Duggan in person. Um, he was a really nice guy. And then my favorite wrestler of all time, the Ultimate Warrior. So. Let's pull him out, and let's see. We gotta get their legend card. So we got Stone Cold, Ultimate Warrior, 
Woo! Nature Boy Ric Flair. Where's these other guys at? Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Brett the Hitman Hart. And I'm missing the Undertaker. There he is. I passed him. All right. So let's throw these guys. Yep. Um, let's get rid of Mankind. He won the first Rumble. So we'll throw these guys out Can of the ring. start all over. Total... Sure, total yeah. Totally new rumble. Two, totally new rumble. We won't worry about reshuffling you the deck, put though. Him over there. You can show them off later, maybe. Yeah. Let's shuffle these legends here. And that's it. that's how you set up the game. That's how quick it is, really. Normally, you just shuffle all 30 legends and deal six out. But if you right. want to pick which ones you're playing with... Which we can, because we're demoing. Yeah. Go for it. So yeah. let's draw back up to six cards. The last thing we need to do... Whoops. Oh, I drew seven cards. There we go. Is draw a legend. Oh, Stone yeah, Cold Stone Steve Cold. Austin. Oh, you got my favorite Ultimate ah, Warrior. Ah, feel the power of the Ultimate Warrior. <laughs> Is that what he sounded like? Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, and that's the bottom line because Stone Cold said so. All right. Does he, does he get quieter like that? You what? Didn't, you didn't follow through. I didn't follow through. That yeah. wasn't authoritative. I All right. know. All right, so let's get into this. Um, why don't we let you be the, the title holder to start off? I think it's. That's a pity. No, it's That's not. The Ultimate Warrior needs the title holder belt. <laughs> Alright. Okay, okay. Let's do this here. Okay. Alright, let's reveal. I got a Backbreaker, which is a Speed 4, and you got the Atomic Drop. Oh, you're... It's with a speed too but it does three damage if it hits that's right all right so i hit with my or can you block my flying backbreaker a flying backbreaker sounds terrifying but I here cannot. it is all right so that's going to hit you with four damage and it says if this hits you may immediately play your signature move so oh. here comes the stone cold stunner that as was, well that was quick well, i think you're still in i'm by one by, by one, one barely in. that's right all right so um can i block your atomic drop I cannot. So you're going to hit Stone Cold with your Atomic Drop, giving cool. him three damage already. I'll take it. That's a lot of damage. Some of the moves that are slower deal a lot more damage than yep. the, the quick moves. It'd be so. great if you had that to play with a defense so that you knew you wouldn't take damage by being a sitting duck, but, right. you know, you play the cards that are dealt. All right, I only need to deal one damage to get you out of here, so... Oh, jeez. I want to take this... Stone Cold knows... He's smart. He's gonna he's gonna look at Ultimate Warrior. Know he's weak. He's ready to go over the top. Let's get this. Stone Cold waste no time is right. <laughs> All right. So I got a speed five leg lock. I got a speed four elbow to the knee. Ah uh, well. Um, can you block my leg lock? It is a move attack. Nope. Nope. All right. So that's gonna go on and deal the last bit of damage. It says if this hits your mo your opponent must reveal their hand and discard all kicks as well. So. Woo, two kicks. Two oh, kicks. boy. All right, and then that's going to throw Ultimate Warrior over the top unless you got something to stop it. I got it. nothing. He's out of here. That was quick. That was. You didn't even get to do your Gorilla Press I Slam. Didn't. Put that there. Um, I get to take the title holder. That's why you let me have it. You knew. <laughs> I knew you Stone knew. Cold was going to come out hot and, Stone Cold and was gonna take, take it. care of business. Get rid of that for this. Let's play maybe one more round and see if we have any questions. Yeah, All sure. Right. So there we go. Get the Stone Cold Stunner out of there. Who you get a get? new. Who are we going to get? Oh, Nature Boy, Ric Flair, my favorite. Woo! Woo! <laughs> All right, so we got to draw back up. I only need one card. Ah, uh, well, thank you for your discard. I need three. Hmm. Well, we'll play that. I was looking. I do believe that this is your guy's move, right? And it is Stone Cold oh, there, yeah. Closed fist punch. All right, and I got a suplex, which is a speed four, so you get to attack first with your speed five. It I is cannot, a cheap trick, though. I cannot no? defend against Ooh. it. No, I don't have a ref on my side. And if this hits, you may immediately play your signature. No! Hello, figure four leg lock. Oh, my gosh. It does four damage. Oh. Holy cow. Stone Cold's done. Ric Flair, the nature boy, just tossed him out of the ring what like he was nothing. A perfect time to end. That well, is. This is the this is time to call it. Okay. All right. With so me, let's see if we got any me. other questions here. Uh, Stone Cold remi remains unimpressed. <laughs> well, he's impressed now. He's gone. Um, let's see here. Cards look slightly smaller. Jelmo and Emily are so fun. Oh, thanks, <laughs> PJ. <laughs> 
Hacksaw was the first Royal Rumble champion. Whoa, spoilers! Whoa! I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> Do you want to show him some cards? Yeah, let's show yeah. some more of the other legends in the, in the box over here. So, we got... We got, um... Macho, or not Macho Man, the Million Dollar Man. Uh, Shawn Michaels, he used to be my... Oops. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep, he was my mom's favorite back uh, when Your I watched mom's wrestling. Favorite. Yeah, he had oh. nice hair, she said, oh. so... Oh, that's what I'm learning about my uh, mother-in-law. Mr. Perfect. <laughs> uh, <laughs> then we got some uh, some older school ones here. The Iron Sheik. Uh, we do have some new school as well. It's Eddie Guerrero, Razor Ramon. Back to the old school with Dusty Rhodes and the Junkyard Dog. Show these closer, too, just so cool. Then we got Kurt Angle, the Honky Tonk Man, Ravishing Rick Rude, Ooh. Ooh. the British Bulldog, Sting, Mark Henry, Jerry the King Lawler. He's still announcing, I think, really? too. Yeah, he's still coming in as an announcer. Diesel and Goldberg, and then uh, Hulk Hogan as well is in there. And that's all of them, right? I mean, we already saw like Undertaker, yeah. Bret the Hitman Hart used to be one of my faves too, when I when I watched it back in the day. Um, let's see if there's any other questions though. This game looks great. Appreciate it. Uh, it was a lot of fun to make. That's good. Box. Yeah, show off the box. It's got all the legends on it. You still have your WWF trading cards? Uh, that's awesome. <laughs> This is the game for you. This is the game for you, then, yeah. I did not grow up watching wrestling, and I still enjoy this. I don't know who they are. I don't know what the moves are. <laughs> Batista, deal but with I it. But I still have fun. Um, how long does a typical game take? It looks uh, pretty fast. Yeah, again, we play with two players, so it's a little bit quicker. Um, but probably about 30, 45 minutes. Especially if you're up to, like, the 10-player count. That might take a little longer because you, you got all 30. Or... Yeah, just depending yeah. what cards you get. My, uh, my nephew's obsessed with the old school WWF. I'm pretty sure that he would love to play this game. Yeah, there's a lot of the old school wrestlers from yep. the WWF days, but uh, we're in the WWE now. And there's, I mean, there's even Sting and stuff, which I guess he did come in WWE and Booker T, which were originally the old WCW back in the day. But um, I don't see any other questions, um, so I think we're going to go ahead and end the stream. Again, That's if you're good. here from Gen Con, please remember to give your ticket through the events uh, detail yeah. or event details page. Um, there should be instructions on the event dashboard or on the Gen Con emails that'll help them know that you like Ravensburger or you love Ravensburger events and you want to see more of them next year. Yeah. Um, we appreciate you joining us and hanging out and watching us play the game, though. Until next time, my name is Joe. I'm Emily. And thanks.